Old man Woody likes the crooked cock. Gotcha. So uh, before we got into the ads, Destiny, you had uh, something super dark to oh, jump I, into. I don't know if you guys ever got into this shit. When I, I this, I fucked my brain on this shit growing up. But this, you know, I feel like this is a safe space for dark topics. Okay, mm. more so than most groups of people I talk to. <laughs> you ever spend like hours of your life watching like these incredibly fucked up like death websites? You ever do this shit? Oh, yeah, yes. yeah, we did a show on that. We, did, uh, <laughs> we watched we them on the line. The okay, I'm a little uncomfortable with Woody's response there. That seemed a little bit too into. <laughs> <laughs> like, I won the uh, the thing. I was the only guy who made it to the end comfortably. Yeah, you oh, did, like, the there was the worst one. We've talked about it a dozen times. Is the Russian one where they kill him with like a hammer and a screwdriver? Three guys and a hammer. This? Oh, with yeah. the eyes and everything. Yeah. Like, yeah. Do, oh, yeah. That one's terrible. It really just ha- takes a chip of your soul and removes it. Have you seen the one? I sometimes I wonder, like, what the fuck these people did? Where they like reach into this guy's stomach and they reach up and they take his heart out and they punch it out of his yes. fucking body? Yes. What the yeah. fuck? We watched that the other week. Is that where his <laughs> arms and legs are cut off, or just his arms? Uh, yeah, cut I think off they are. Well? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we watched. But that, that wasn't uh... even the most shocking part of the video. It was actually. <laughs> I'm watching a video where a guy's arms have freshly been cut off, and it's not even close to ranking as the most fucked up part of the video. Like, holy yeah. shit! Oh, but we had a. Some of those videos just upset you. Do you remember the? They made a salad out of a human, right? <laughs> the, the Mexican what? cartel did it. It was yeah. actually oh. a photo, not a video, so that, that takes away from it. But you're like, how do you make a salad with like human parts as an ingredient? So instead of just like leaves of lettuce, they would have like heads of lettuce, and then like oh, a human God. head, and then like a human forearm, and an entire tomato. They wouldn't cut the salad pieces, and proportionally, it was a decent like chicken salad, but really large, with your loved one in it. Jesus Christ! And what do they do? Just like leave this giant salad on your front door? Uh, yeah, well, I think it was a message to the other people. This is the Mexican cartel. I, I, if I remember the Those context of bringing it up, we were like, hey, what if the Mexican cartel didn't like ISIS? And those two started butting heads. How, you know, who would end up on top there? It's a real clash of the titans. I always I joke cartels, about this, but like, if the cartels were Muslim, like, we would have been down there so quickly. But because it's just like Mexican shit, we absolutely couldn't give a fuck less. But like, if it was actually like the Islamic cartel down there in Mexico instead of just like Mexicans, holy shit, yeah, we would be all over that shit. You Jesus, think? those people are. I think so. Those guys would right. like kill like school buses full of kids and shit. That those people are fucking crazy. I hear dude. you, but the reason we don't like Muslims is nine eleven. Prior to that, we really had no opinion. Then they killed us. Yeah, maybe sure. Yeah. So I mean, until the Mexican cartels knock down, you know, Sears Roebuck Tower or something. I feel like the cartels are so powerful, though. Like they're yeah. they're running huge sections of that government, and so like they've got to have some like diplomatic relations with U.S. politicians and shit that would prevent us from going too hard on them, right? Oh, maybe. I'm not. I'm not too sure about that, but I don't know either. Yeah, it's a good. Th- I, I like your conspiracy. I, I see where you're going with that. Um, because I was going to chalk that up as fact and believe it for the rest. You're of like, you know, Mexican cartels <laughs> are so powerful. I'm like, not compared to the United States Marines, but when you do the conspiracy route and say, you know, they're friends with the senator, then suddenly, it oh can no, work. like it, it's not conspiratorial to say they are like friends Embedded with in the government, the Mexican at the very least, the Mexican yeah. government, yeah. Right, but those, right. But I think that you took another Mexican step, government. right? You said yeah. that I thought you were saying American politicians. Maybe no, I'm saying that then they could use those Mexican politicians to influence American politicians. Be like, oh, it's not even as bad as you're thinking down here. And we're actually taking a lot of measures to take care of this on our own. Don't bother. Don't bother. Stay uh, away. That will not work with our current government. I don't know. I don't think there's, you know, oh, there are diplomatic ties between Trump and Mexico. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's true. Uh, yeah. Um, those cartels yeah. are just, uh, uh, I'm trying to think of more brutal videos. Oh, oh yeah, I, them... actually, I'm I'm really curious now um, because I have an answer, and most people seem to agree after we bring it up. What is your what is like the most disturbing video you think you've seen? It's that Russian one. Yeah, the I Russian really one's think... there. There's also an ISIS one where they execute just like 38 people or something like that, just shooting them in the back of the head. Mm-hmm. And, and sometimes in, in in a position like that, I think of myself like, what do you do if you're guy when you're like the last one? Yeah, I, I was going to say 22, but right, like when you know yeah. your fate what's your move there? You know, you're, you're gagged, I think, and your hands are bound. Yeah. So you're not going to, like, MacGyver your way out of this or Captain America or whatever it would take. Do you On just... some level, you're probably just, like, deer in the headlights. Like, like you just freeze up and, like, almost like your body is a protective mechanism is, like, releasing whatever DMT, whatever the hell that is, right, when you're about to die and you're in that prime freak-out mode. Because, mm-hmm. you know, like, when you see those videos... It's rare that you see people like move in and like trying to escape and like frantic like fish swapping maneuvers. 
Have you seen some of the swapping. ones? I like Taylor. Have you seen some of the ones where the guys like <laughs> fight back or like grab an AK or whatever? There no. are a couple no. of those. Oh, if you... oh what, really? There's how does one... that go down? There's one where, well, usually, um, usually the guy dies pretty quickly ever, but there's one where a guy is like um, sorting through a grave of all of his friends, and the people are like video recording, and they're kind of laughing at him, like telling him to toss like the empty guns up. And as the guy is going through, he finds a, a, a rifle that is still fully loaded, and you can hear like all the guys screaming as this guy like comes out and like open fire, opens fire on these people, and it's like that's pretty insane. And there's a lot of shooting there, so I imagine he probably made it for a little bit, but and then he dies, right? I want to find yeah, oh, yeah, of course. Well, but he I mean, probably had a positive a KD ratio. Well, if I mean, in real life, you person, only have to kill can't. more than one person. <laughs> yeah. yeah. In real life, like, a positive KD ratio isn't the hardest thing, but no, not I, to take away from anybody. I don't know. Efforts. Most people in war, I would, don't I would, I would say it averages out to an even kill death ratio. Well, it you know? depends on if you count assists or not, how you're doing your <sighs> assists. Yeah. yeah, and then it really matters if you're running that perk. <laughs> what the fuck is it called? <laughs> Hardline Pro or something like that? Oh, like to get then your it's, kill Then two faster. assists count for a kill. Yeah. What um oh so, so this is actually what I think is the mo- I've seen probably every fucked up video on the internet mm-hmm. um I don't know why but I just I watch these morbid curiosity but the most disturbing one is actually one on YouTube for me and it's um I'm sure you guys have seen it it's the one where the guy is driving and a brick just comes off the back of the truck and it goes oh. through the windshield and strikes oh, his shit. wife that's like probably the worst I don't it's even know awful. why there's no gore in the video at all but it is like I just got a whole- chill thinking about that. Yeah. It's awful. Yeah. The, Holy the, the, shit. Yeah. The when noise you hear the, the guy kid, makes. The fact that his life in like a millisecond just like it was irreversibly changed through no fault of his own in like such a horrible fucking way. In like such an unlikely way, too. Like, I've oh, seen a similar shit. thing yeah. where a tire hits a motorcyclist. Like it just comes oh, off sure. a semi or something, bounces once or twice, and then plows in oncoming traffic. So the closing speed is like 100 miles an hour. Massive force. And you just, yeah, done. Done. I think, he, and it, there's a weird thing about watching someone transition from alive to dead. To dead. Yeah. yeah. Just because you always imagine it'll be so dramatic or whatever. And now I get paranoid when I'm standing on the street sometimes, and like a car comes across the sidewalk a little bit too close. It's like, fuck! I was almost one of those videos, wasn't I? Like my life <laughs> instantly right here. Uh, you think about that, like Final Destination shit that starts happening. Yeah. Where it's like maybe like some roofer didn't quite put a shingle on correct and it's got a metal edge or whatever the hell would happen and you end up dying another video like that is have you heard the one where it's like a family in a car they call the police because their brakes have gone out and they're approaching the end of a road and they're going like full speed and they're trying to like tell the guy what to do and the whole family ends up dying oh no i actually they don't this have one. The brakes and they just careen into whatever it was. Uh, it's Probably. been a while since I've seen. Probably should have uh, turned the car off, huh? That's that's only an audio clip, I think. Yeah, mm. I, I don't know why they wouldn't turn the car off. Maybe there's turn off the car. Oh, there were a couple. I didn't even think of that. Was it oh, Toyota wait, wait, cars or something? Sh- there were a couple where the throttle would get stuck open. That was like oh, actually. That, it a... might have been a, uh, one of those Toyota ones. I think you're right. I don't know if it was. A, I don't know if Toyota was the brand or not. I don't want to uh, screw you guys out of future that, uh, sponsors. But, but. I, I'm not sure that happened. Very. They made a big deal out of. I think it was Priuses that were like you know, staying wide open throttle, and uh-huh. then that, did that ever actually happen? Well, the thing is that, like, if you're a car manufacturer and you detect that it's possible, whether it happens once or like a, a dete- uh, like a lab test somewhere shows, or like you're doing something and it happens, you have to recall immediately. Because if that happens like twice, your brand, you're in, like, you're talking like multi million, maybe billion dollars of damage to like your sales, right? Because that's like a story that you never want. Fuck. Um, what was the? There was a tire company that Firestone. had to do with this Firestone, yeah, for a while. Where like, how long did people avoid Firestone tires? I wonder what the damage to their like market share and stock was. As On a the other of that. hand, enormous. I bet they've never. I guess Jeeps come out of park, some of them, and uh, and they can just drive and kill you. And they killed the guy that played Chekhov in Star Trek, the movies. The, the, the yeah, it one? was that. Um, it or wasn't Green that. Green Wagoneer or something? It was in park. It was the Grand Cherokee. Um, okay. It wasn't that it came out of park. It was that he, he had like left it in neutral or something. Like like Like... It was that it didn't notify you well enough that you weren't in park. He Is fucked up. That what it was? Okay. Yeah, and then and then I he got I... pinned against a wall, and they found him dead, pinned against the wall. Oh. Um, I looked up the thing with uh, the Priuses that killed eighty nine people. Ooh, Ooh, holy shit! That's some Ooh. scary shit. Although it does counter crazy. Destiny's None point. None of us have heard of that. That. That maybe that two it, would be yeah, it's to... like ir- ir- irreversibly ruins your brand, and you need to recall it on the possibility. Because we're here, like, oh, was it eighty people that died? <laughs> you know, that's uh, that's no hurricane. 
<laughs> wait, wait, how many people Whatever. did you say it killed? 89. Oh, 89. Oh, dude. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I ended on that note. I love that the word play. That was the best shit I've ever heard. <laughs>